Meantime, as we mentioned, Walmart's analyst meeting is underway right now. It's coming at a critical moment for the stock. Joining us by phone from the meeting in Arkansas is retail analyst David Strasser. David, thanks for calling in this uh, $15 billion share buyback coming as a bit of a surprise. It's a bit of a surprise. We knew something would be coming. I mean, buybacks are a big part of what Walmart is going to do. That you know, generating 14 billion dollars of free cash flow. There's opportunity for buybacks. There's opportunity for dividends. Um, and you know, the conflict is how much goes back into capex versus how much goes back to shareholders. Yeah. How do we? What, what do we know at this point? I'm seeing headlines that um, Walmart is going to pay uh, you know dividends of over you know 14 and a half billion dollars in fiscal year uh, 2011 here. I mean. Is this a, a reason to change your position on the stock right now? Well, the more dividends they pay to us, is the better it is for the stock. I mean, that's just going to, that to us, the, it, investors that we talk to really want to see the dividend go up. And, they, and they're at a point where they have to try and balance the growth with dividends and buybacks. I mean, we're pro, we're, we think dividends are the best use of the cash, but I think you have to try and put, find a balance day in and day out. Yeah. And what are you hearing from management today? I mean, the, the, Meeting's always somewhat of a circus, you know that. I mean, we were just hearing that what Mariah Carey is performing at the moment. Yes. <laughs> so um, give me a sense, though, of what substantive things we've learned today. What's happening with gas prices, with paycheck cycles, with traffic in stores? Yeah, I mean, paycheck cycle continues to be, you know, a very volatile um, issue. I mean, you know, paycheck cycles, traffic is continuing to be a struggle. I mean, you're seeing very aggressive rollbacks, very aggressive pricing at Walmart, and they're going to continue to be very aggressive because to them, they need that traffic in the store and they want that traffic in the store. And it, it is, and it's a tough economy out there, particularly for their customer. And they've been talking about that, you know, a lot. And it ha we've seen it get better at Target and, and Walmart is still struggling because it's at that, at that at their customer level, it's still very tough. David, I mean, you and I have known each other for a while from when I, I used to cover the company. Are you still going out to Walmarts, you know, at midnight in the middle of the country? I mean, tell me how you're you're assessing the company differently these days. I, we still are. I mean, you still see it, and you see when you're out there at midnight on a Friday night or 8 o'clock on a Friday night, the Friday night Walmart, that people are still struggling across America, and that's and they see it every single day, you know, tons and tons of times, and it, it's tough out there. And, you know, gas prices go, when gas prices go up, it hurts them. Unemployment, you know, even though the number was a little bit better today, it's still a very difficult number and very difficult to manage. Um, it's tough out there. Yeah, that's a snapshot of the U.S. consumer right now. Thank you so much, David Strasser, calling us from the Walmart shareholders meeting underway in Fayetteville, Arkansas.